Manamana, do 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 do. Manamana, do 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 do. Manamana, do 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 do. Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Hanging with Janky. It has been yet another week, friends. Pretty good week all the way around, actually. I've just been chilling and enjoying. I'm on the new stream schedule and all that nonsense, so I've just kind of been chilling and trying to get things organized and working on things and all that nonsense. And that's more or less what I've been up to. I hope that you all have had a good week as well. But uh, yeah, welcome back to Hanging with Janky, where we talk about the latest in gaming news. I have a couple stories for you. Hopefully you'll find them interesting. Uh, but if you don't, you should be polite and sit here and watch and listen anyway, because that is what cool kids would do. Let's get started. First up, let's talk Facebook and their new policy for monetizing gaming streams. Yeah, basically they're letting people monetize them. That's, that's, that's what I have to say. I'm going to be honest. I didn't really read the story. <laughs> I don't, it's just, okay, hold on. Just let's, let's, let's chat about this. Who is streaming video games on Facebook? Who's making that choice? Who's deciding, oh, well, yeah, there is Twitch, of course. And yeah, yeah, YouTube has gaming streaming. And yeah, there's even Mixer from Microsoft, but no. I am going to stream games on Facebook where all of my friends from high school and family, judgy, judgy family are. Yep, that's, that's the choice that I want to make. Yes, absolutely to that. Look, I get that Facebook would like to branch out into other things, and yeah, they own Oculus now, so yeah, they're getting into gaming, like VR gaming, sure. And they've always had stuff like Farmville, if you want to call that a game. I guess technically it qualifies as a game, but by God, at what cost are we qualifying that as a game? That's, that's hours of my life that I will never get back playing Farmville. Oh, Lord. Anyway, the point is, apparently, Facebook is getting into streaming, which they have been for a while, but uh, they didn't really have a monetization option, so now they're working on a partner program for people who want to stream on Facebook. But Facebook is just, it's a social site, and not really anyone I know uses it that much anymore. <laughs> Even people who have Facebook pages, I really don't think they update them that often. So, it is what it is, but I guess kudos to Facebook for at least trying to be relevant, right? In other news, Epic Games, the company behind the hit game Fortnite, is stopping production on their MOBA that they've been working on for a few years now. Paragon. To be fair, a lot of people saw this coming because, you know, Epic Games had a lot of success with Fortnite and Fortnite Battle Royale, and so everyone was just kind of like, oh, it, it, yeah, they also made that MOBA, um, Paragon. Are they still working on that? Are they still doing that? Well, now they're not because they've had success elsewhere. Although I will say Epic Games is being real cool about it because there are people who played Paragon and bought the game. And so Epic Games is like, look, we appreciate your support. If you want a refund, we will give you a refund on the game. If you got it on PC, if you got it on console, wherever you have it, just here are the instructions. We will refund you the money for the game. Thank you so much for your support. We're just going in a different direction, which is super chill and super cool. And I don't think a lot of companies would be willing to do that. So kudos to Epic Games for giving players a refund if they want it, and, you know, to the people who did play Paragon, hope you enjoyed it while you had it. In other news, Dragon Ball Fighter Z has dropped, and it is very, very hype. Now, of course, I haven't played it because I wasn't really into Dragon Ball for two reasons. First of all, the fact that whenever you watch an anime like Dragon Ball, if you miss an episode and come back to it, the story makes absolutely no freaking sense. And the other reason is because they spend half the episode charging themselves up with Kai power to do battle with each other. 
And you'd think that if that's how they spend half the episode, you wouldn't lose track of the story, but you do. Because the story happens when all the people who are standing watching the people fight in Dragon Ball are explaining everything that's going on so that you know what the story is before the fight. But if you miss an episode, then it's just, it's nonsense. It's all nonsense. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's cool. I like it. Gohan's the best, you know, and I do mean Gohan, not Goku, for the record. Gohan, Super Saiyan man for the win. I'm just saying that generally speaking, it's nonsense to try to watch it unless you can just watch it straight through, and I never could, so, yeah. Anyway, all rambling aside, the game actually looks really cool, and I don't play a lot of fighting games, but I do like to watch Super Couch Fighters, which is a really awesome channel over on YouTube where they do a lot of fighting games. Um, and just the, the look of it is beautiful. Like, everything is 3D models, but it's like a 2D style fighter, and they, like, it's it's just awesome. Like, just to look at it is, is beautiful and awesome, and as far as the fighting game mechanics go, they actually seem really cool and really well made. Um, and you know, I, I think all the Dragon Ball games, I think there were a few that were kind of bad, but for the most part, I think that the fighting games they made for Dragon Ball were all really good, which is good for a show that's mostly about fighting, but yeah, no, this one looks really good, and I know a lot of people are out there playing it. I probably won't get around to it just because, like I said, I don't play a lot of fighting games, and I wasn't super into Dragon Ball, but I really do enjoy watching people play who were into Dragon Ball. Like, I, I know enough about Dragon Ball to know the story and the characters, but it's just fun to watch people who really enjoy that show play games like that. So if you ever get a chance, definitely check out those. Um, I would recommend Super Couch Fighters, but I know Whiskey in the Jam Jar uh, is also currently playing Dragon Ball, and I'm pretty sure he was a fan of the show, so you could also check him out. But uh, yeah, it's super cool. And uh, it's, it's a really awesome game to look at. It's so pretty. Also, here's a fun story about GPUs and why it's so hard to get one right now. So I don't know how many of you out there are on the down low about cryptocurrencies, but you may know that Bitcoin has made a reappearance from the early 2000s and is apparently worth a lot, which is ridiculous to me because it's, it's nonsense. It's made up nonsense, you know? And like, I get it, money is a construct anyway, or whatever philosophical BS you want to throw out there, but like, Bitcoin is literally nonsense. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's like you solve an algorithm. Whatever, that's not even the story. Let's move on to the actual story. Apparently, the graphics cards that people use to build really nice gaming computers are really also so apparently, the graphics cards that people use to build really nice gaming computers are also really good at cracking the algorithms that you need to mine Bitcoin. So a ton of cryptocurrency miners have been buying up GPUs uh, so that they can load them all into a computer and just make a mining computer that's just going to sit there and mine Bitcoin all day. And it's made GPUs really hard to get a hold of and it's made them exorbitantly expensive for people who actually want them to, you know, like build a nice gaming rig, which is cool, you know? People wanna build their own computers and it sucks because the graphics cards are so hard to get. Anyway, Nvidia and AMD, the two main GPU makers, uh, they've kind of stepped in and they just talked to retailers and they're like, look, our graphics cards aren't getting into the hands of the people who actually want to use them to play games. They're going to these other people, which, I mean, they're buying the graphics cards, but if we're going to make them, we want to make them for the people who are actually going to use them for their intended purpose, which is so that they could play video games with them. And it sucks that the people who really want to use them for that aren't getting hold of them. So, like, what, what can you do as retailers and what can we do and what can we work out? And so retailers kind of responded and basically... Uh, graphics cards are very, very pricey now. They're, um, almost a thousand dollars for, a, like, a mid-range graphics card. But, if you get them bundled with other things that you would need to build, say, a gaming computer, it drops them back down to close to their original price, which is more around four hundred dollars, which is still expensive, but not nearly as expensive as it could be. Basically, the idea is for people who are only in it to get just the graphics card, 
it's going to cost them a ton. But if you're in it to build a gaming computer and you get it bundled with the other parts, then it's going to cost you less, which is really cool and a really great way to make sure that graphics cards get into the hands of people who, you know, actually want to use them for graphic reasons. So that's cool. And that's pretty much all I got this week. Pretty like short and sweet as far as gaming news goes. I mean, I tried to look around for some other stuff, but I mean, a lot of the stuff that's going on right now is just looking forward to releases for the rest of the year. I, I know I didn't go over January releases, actually. Uh, there are some really awesome games that are brewing out in the world right now, I guess you could say. Uh, I know Sea of Thieves is in beta. I'm super looking forward to that game. It's like an open world multiplayer pirate adventure game that's just, oh, I can't wait. It's gonna, It looks so good and it's in closed beta right now. And all the streams I have watched of it look so hype, and I really want it. So I'm excited for that. And of course, people are freaking out about Dragon Ball Fighter Z and also Monster Hunter World, which is, uh, I don't think it's released yet, but I think it is in beta right now. Or maybe it has released. Well, whatever. The point is, there's lots of things out there that people are super jazzed for. Street Fighter V Arcade Mode. So hopefully at the beginning of February, I'll actually remember to talk about all that stuff going on. Also, we're like two months away from the 100th episode Hanging with Janky, which is super exciting. Uh, and since I'm talking about that, I should make one quick note, which is thank you <laughs> to all the subscribers to the channel. I know, I eventually got there. I eventually got to the end of the day stuff, which is thanking all the new people to the channel. So let me get on over to the creator studio so I can actually see you guys and thank you guys. It's been awesome. Uh, we're up to 340 subscribers, which I think uh, is what we were at quite recently. Um, Super Kirby, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Oh, let me move over so I can put your picture up there. Super Kirby, thank you for subscribing, becoming the 340th subscriber, I believe. That's super awesome of you, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining. And of course, thank you to all 340 of you out there. I hope that you enjoyed the content. The uh, once a week hanging with janky content. Don't worry, I do have some other stuff in the works that it's, it's kind of been on the back burner because I've been pretty busy with other stuff going on, but hopefully fairly soon here I'll be able to start getting stuff recorded and then I can get it out to you. And of course, you can always catch me on live streams Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd be happy to see you guys over on the Twitch channel. But of course, thank you all for all of your support. You guys are awesome. Jenny Squad Strong. All that nonsense. But thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you all. <sighs> My love. And that's what I got for this week. So, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, you know what to do. Press that like button down below. Comments, positive or negative, feel free to leave those below as well. More than anything, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, or whenever you happen to be catching this. And until the next time... This is Janky Shenanigans, signing out.